us to another episode on SOG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2020 Science Paper 1. Elena carried out a Hooke's law experiment and obtained the following results. Copy and complete table C 2.1 by finding values of applied force N and extension E uh, in millimeter produced. So uh, basically, if you look at uh, question A, basically for us to find applied force, so applied force will be equal to uh, same as weight, which is given by mass times gravity. So gravity is basically 10 newton per kg. So to find applied force when mass is zero, we just multiply zero times z, uh, 10, we end up with zero newton. Then next, uh, when um, the mass is 0 0.2, 0 0.02, you multiply by 10, you end up with basically 0 0.2 newton. So here we have 0 0.2. So similarly, we do the same here. This will be 0 0.4. This will be 0 0.6. Then this will be 0 0.8. Then the last one, it will be 0 0.1 times 10, which will just be 1 newton. So basically, this is how you find uh, the applied force. Go to extension, uh, still on M. So extension in a uh, millimeter will be basically uh, extension after we, we, we load a particular uh, weight or mass, then uh, minus extension before we loaded anything, which is L0. So this is because LI at a particular load, then minus 11. So 11 is before we loaded D anything. So the first one it will be 11 minus 11 to be 0. Then the next one it will be a 12. Now after we load a 0 0.2 newtons, 12.1 minus 11, we end up with 1.1 centimeter. But we need to give the answer in millimeter. And in 1 centimeter we have 10 millimeter. So we multiply this by 10, 1.1 times 10, we end up with 11 millimeter so 11 millimeter is uh, the answer here so similarly it will be 13.2 minus 11 we are going to end up with 2.2 then centimeter then convert it to millimeter which will be at uh, 22 so 22 here we are going to have 33 then in the similar manner we are going to have a uh, 44 then it will be 16.5 minus 11 to be 5.5 times 10 to be 55 so basically, this is how you complete this uh, table to get uh, the two marks. Move to B, plot a graph of applied force and against extension. So applied force, the first one is uh, the uh, y-axis, as in the case in, in physics, then uh, the extension will be on the x-axis. So once you know that, you can easily transfer this information. So what you notice here is applied force is increasing in intervals of uh, 0 0.2. So this is um, when the graph will be much more easier. So the equal intervals. So this is straightforward. Then this is increasing in interval of uh, uh, basically 11. So the standard graph would require us to do an interval of 10, 10. So that we move from uh, 0 to about 60. So that's how we are going to, to do. So let us look at uh, the graph. So if you look at the graph, the graph has uh, been uh, labeled properly. So make sure that you ensure that uh, the x-axis is uh, clearly labeled as extension in millimeter, then applied force as uh, in newtons. So the range, like we said, uh, for uh, extension is from 10 to uh, from 0 to 60 in uh, increment of 10, 10. So these need to be the case. So the increment should be equal so that the graph is not uh, distorted. So that you see drawn to a scale. Then we also have applied force uh, in increment of 0 0.2 newtons up to one newton, which is uh, the maximum. Then once we do that, we can easily transfer this information by plotting uh, a graph. So we start with uh, basically a 0 0,0, which is this one. 0 0,0 is uh, somewhere here. Then we go to uh, uh, 11 uh, millimeter, comma 0 0.2. So along 0 0.2, we, we, we plot 11. So 11 is here. Remember, these are 10 units. 
so each uh, subunit is one unit then we go to uh, 0 0.4 comma 22 so along the applied force is 0 0.4 then comma 22 so 22 will be somewhere here then we have along 0 0.6 then comma 33 so it will be uh, somewhere here then uh, 0 0.8 so we have 0 0.8 uh, comma uh, basically uh, 44 so 0 0.8 comma 44 so we come to uh, where is 44 so 44 is uh, basically 1 2 3 4 so it will be somewhere here then we have of course 1 comma 55 so 1 newton then we go to uh, 55 so 55 is uh, here okay so you see that this is basically just a straight line that uh, you can easily join so using a ruler you place a ruler then uh, you draw it uh, straight uh, as in a line up to that point so you use a ruler to come out uh, as a pure straightly line so this is uh, basically what we have so let us look at question C from the graph determine the spleen constant so let us call the spleen constant to be k so k is equal to extension divided by applied uh, force so this one will be basically so it's that change so the change for us to find for the entire graph it will be a 55 minus zero which is the change in the extension then one minus the change minus zero which is the change in applied force so this gives us 55 over one which is equal to 55 so this is 55 millimeter per newton so for every one newton we are uh, extend the spleen by 55 millimeter. D Loma numero 1 did the spleen reach its elastic limit. So as you can see from the graph, no, this is the answer. It did not reach the elastic limit. D Loma numero 2 explain your answer in D1 above. So why? Because the constant remained the same throughout the graph. As you can see, the graph has the same slope. So if you had reached the elastic limit, what was going to happen is this uh, graph would change in this direction, the one I've shown in the lead uh, color. So basically, we are haven't reached the elastic limit. Once you reach the elastic limit, what it means is once you load more uh, force, the spleen get damaged. Such that if you reduce uh, the applied force, it will not return to its original uh, position or shape. So that's the explanation to question D. So this is basically how you get the 10 marks on this question.